real quick. Hey, welcome to a little late night live. Not too late, child, because we get sleepy early, selling me. Get my Wi-Fi going. <clears throat> I'm going to let TikTok tell y'all we're live. Hello, giggle. My Wi-Fi going. <clears throat> I'm gonna let TikTok tell y'all we're live. Hello, giggle. FYP, real quick. Let's test the algorithm. Y'all ready? Hi, Ashley. What you doing up? <laughs> You're probably asking me the same thing. I've been out and about today. I found, um, oh, I went and got a manicure. I'm proud of that. A little gel polish. And clear. I'm so boring, but Oprah doesn't paint her nails, so neither do I. We don't. We get clear. Rich people get clear. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, I tried a new restaurant. I liked it called McAllister's, and then I came home, took a nap, woke up to thought I was gonna get back in the bed and go back to sleep, but there was a neighborhood association meeting tonight, and I'm glad I went. So I was cute all day. Yes, Manny. It feels so much better. I usually do my own, but I was like, I'm going to be lazy today and get treated because I deserve it. So that's what I did. And I'm proud. And so I uh, just got back in from the Neighborhood Association. <clears throat> Y'all hung out with me last night about this time. So I was like, let's do it again. A little after, after, after party. Top of the week. Uh, I'm glad I went. It was featuring an interior designer. I love stuff like that, like home decor and staging and I just felt real bougie rich today, like, <laughs> although everything I got on came from the thrift store, but hello, I look good in it. <laughs> We're a different kind of rich, right? Um, so let me tell you, T-Mobile does T-Mobile Tuesdays, and they sent out a 50% off a sandwich coupon. I was like, let me try it. I've seen the restaurant, haven't tried it. And I knew the menu before I got there because I looked it up. So yes, I got the potato. I haven't ate it yet, so either I eat it. Tomorrow for y'all probably see me eating it on live in the morning. I did try there and I'm vegetarian, so the vegetarian tomato. I got one of everything I wanted to try because I knew I don't I'm too far from that side to be going that far for food. So I'm like, give me everything you got, vegetarian. So I got the veggie potato, I got the veggie chili, and a four cheese and tomato sandwich, which was really good. I just finished the second half of that. So I always eat like a little bit. By the time I sit down and eat, I ain't even hungry no more. It takes so much. Um, so, but I always I love a good leftover. Ain't nothing like having a leftover. I ain't got to cook nothing and seasoning then seasoned. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if I'm on that side, I would definitely grab it because I like knowing where my little landmarks are for vegan food. Um, but yeah, I would have it again. The sandwich was sandwiching. Hello, Miss Gigi. How are you? I just wanted to jump on and chat with y'all. Talk about grants if you want to. Um, I've had a nap, so I'm up. Um, I'm cute, so I was camera ready. I just finished clowning with one of my current neighbors, old neighbors. We used to walk together when I first moved over here. And she was at the meeting being crazy. You know how you some people just can't sit by because they ain't go act right? And then she blame it all on me. And I'm like, no, you've been crazy. I, I didn't do that. I was none of my business. You sat beside me. So anyway, oh, speaking of, I need to text my neighbor and tell her I'm back. Um, they get a little concerned. You didn't tell me. So how are you guys? Let's talk about your business. What do you do? Now, this is for black women, for-profit, small business owners. So any, if you're black, if you're a woman, if you're for-profit, if you're a small business owner, put hashtag FYP. Hashtag FYP. And let me know. Y'all in the house on time. All right. Oh, this is some tea from McAllister's. I got a free tea is for signing up for their account that I probably won't use no more, but, or at least no time soon. Okay. The tea is tea. I tried their peach drink. Gave me heartburn. <laughs> I take some pepto more girl. So, but I, I, at least I can say I tried it. At least I know for next time, right? Mm-hmm, child. I just been on a whirlwind of adventures today, honey. So, thank y'all for being here. Miss G, what's your business? Nurse, I could guess what you do, but what do you do? Ashley, what do you do? Put your business in real quick. What's your hashtag FYPs? Let's talk about grants. Um, because we've been having this conversation, and I did this fun activity with one of my mentors today. I was like, this is so adorable. So that's what I did. I do a, a meeting with myself. I usually take myself out for a drink, non-alcoholic or alcoholic if I want it. But... 
Sat had my McAllister's drink. They gave me heartburn. And <laughs> I did my homework for my mentor's um, class this week. And we had to come up with superhero names based on what we did. It was so much fun. And so you know me and Chat GP too. I don't know if y'all know that that's my business bestie. But I plugged in the questions that we had for homework and ChatGPT gave me my superhero name. What y'all think? Like if y'all had to name, okay, let me tell y'all who I am and then let's play the guessing game. Then we're going to do y'all. So if you're new here, put new here and welcome newbies. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant funded opportunities. And just based on that little bit of information, I plugged that into ChatGPT that already knows about my business and what I do. And I said, chat, based on this, if I were a superhero based on what I do in my business, what would my name be? So y'all guess, just based on what I shared, who I am and what I do, what would my superhero name be? What y'all think? Let me text my neighbor while y'all guess. And just, you know, you don't have to play along, but I just think it's cute because we're going to do y'all's next. But real quick guess, and then I'll tell y'all what, what I was named. Granty. <laughs> now that, it, that is cute, because I'm like an old lady, so I hear granny. <laughs> so, hey, Granty. <laughs> That's like what I would call my Grammy. The Grant Game, the Grant Game Genius, tongue twister. Okay. Love it. Keep guessing. Y'all, y'all warm. Grant is definitely in the name. What else? Let me get another guess. <sighs> It was so cute. I was like, because first I was like, if you waiting on me to come up with some child, you're going to be waiting. Because I was mad because he gave examples of superheroes like Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. And he kept naming stuff. But I was like, what about Black Panther? There was not one black superhero this man named. And I didn't want to call him out. I was just like, I'm going to roll with it. But for our homework, we got to pick our favorite superhero. I don't really watch superhero stuff like that. I used to watch He-Man growing up. But Black Panther is on my list at this moment so you had to name your favorite superhero so i named black panther so i went and did my homework on black panther um we had to do who they were what they stood for and what they were against and i was like okay so um plug that into chat gpt hey chat gpt what did black panther stand for and it was like t'challa <laughs> stood for protection of wakanda and i was like yeah he didn't play by his people and his legacy and their traditions and their vibranium babes so then you had to create your own superhero. So I said, Chad GPT, based on what I do in my business with Black Women and Grants, give me a name. And they named me the Grants Guardian. And I was like, okay, we can work with it. And so we built on that persona. So I'm the Grant Guardian. I loved it. Because I had chosen Grant Guide, but I heard somebody else try to use that after me. And I was like, Ugh, let me get originality. And so, ain't that cute? <laughs> Grant Guardian. And I was like, well, tell me my persona. What's my, we had to do the dogma. Like, what is your, what is your belief and your values and your principles that um, the superhero is based on? Or shall I say, I call her a super shero. Because, you know, I'm like, first of all, we're going to represent black people. Second of all, we're going to represent women. Okay. So we with Black Panther and we a shero instead of a hero. Okay. Come on. Black women, black power. And so the Grant Guardian um, was all about, and they, Chad GPG, it's like he just knows me. He's a person in my brain. He's This is my business, boo, my business bestie. He said, you guard resources that help black women build and fund their dreams. <sighs> if he wanted to, he would. <laughs> hey, my friend. I ain't guardian better than guide. It's like he just knew. It's like, Chad GPG, you just get me. a long little he gave me my long story of origin and um next i'm gonna do my villain story but um, so it was cute so just with that okay based on the businesses you guys have told me that you have and thinking about your favorite superhero or super shero yes girl origin he took me back like he knew me like we been boots uh but what would be your your super super shero name y'all tell me because i was like this is guy was on the patio blushing drinking my little McAllister T and um learning that I am the great guardian. Look at me. Guarding resources and 
and my, I'm about equality and exclusivity. I was like, I was super, like, it really, like, made me like, oh, my gosh, I love me. If I didn't know me, I would love me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm texting my neighbor before I forget I hear her. Um, so what's y'all's names real quick? What would y'all be? What's your superhero name? Hurry up, tell me. Super Shiro. Speaker spoke. That's long. Done. Okay. Anybody got a super Shiro name or y'all want to keep hearing about mine? Y'all want to join me? Self-care Shiro. Actually, you should totally do it in um, chat GPT and see what it says because it'll build on it. Like, I didn't even want to like, I didn't want to think. I'm like, I want to turn my brain off. Get somebody else to do it. And so that's what we did. So let me find my... um. Now, I did it with the chat GPC on my phone. And so I can't see that one because I'm on here with y'all. But I emailed it to myself. And so, yeah, it wrote me a whole origin story, which I was like, yeah, okay. But well, let me see. What was the other one? Oh, here's the other one. I'm just proud I did my homework. Um... I thought I emailed myself the rest of it. But yeah, this was a fun little exercise to, to build on. Oh, there it is. So, I'm trying to find the... Any other super sheroes in the house? Y'all talk to me real quick. Talk to the Grant Guardian. <laughs> Rescue Seal. Okay, what do you do, Rescue Seal? I can't, your profile picture is real dark, so I can't see nothing. So what do you do, Rescue Seal? So I like that it broke down my values and it told me what I was, so what I stood for was helping black women get resources for their, their business through grants, like building their dreams. So I was like, that is what I do. Then I said, well, what, is, what am I against? What am I like anti? And um, it was like, you're anti-inequality. You're anti-in... Your, wait a minute, what do they call it? Exclusion. You don't like to be left out. And that's true. Because even when y'all on here having side conversations, I'll be like, what y'all talking about? Y'all on my live having side conversations, like, feel me in. <laughs> the <laughs> Wait a minute. The Ash antagonist. I love it! <laughs> Ashley, I love it. Anti-Ash. <laughs> that is cute. CPR instructor and notary. The rescue seal. The notary seal. You Girl, you better do it. I love it. I love this so much. This was such a fun activity. I'm about to do my origin or my, let me do my villain story real quick. But I don't, I wish I could do it on the one on my phone because the one on my Bapruda ain't going to have that version. So let's see what this one says. And then later, maybe I'll go and do it on my phone. Uh, my girl, I'm at 32%, honey. I had to plug it in before I got on here with y'all. So good luck with this, how long this might last. But um, I get it. Okay, so let's see what it says. about my. I need a villain story. Not that it wasn't on me when I got one, but... Let me see what Chad Jeff tell me to do. Um, anyone else here want to introduce their business and what they do? We're talking about building our um, super shero names based on what we do in our business. And it's actually going to be helpful for grants. I can totally see me using this because it gave me parts of my story as to like why I started doing this and how I'm out to save and help my clients. And I'm really like a super shero. And then at the um, meeting tonight, what did I see that I liked? 
Oh, so the presenter talked about interior designs. You know, if you're a new homeowner or you're renovating, etc. This is at the neighborhood associated meet, association meeting night. And she gave her story and she talked about she works with her husband and they ain't killed each other yet. And I was like, that's cute. But she also talked about her social impact, girl. And I love it because she takes some of her skills. And I was like, I can't wait to tell the grant girlies. She takes some of her skills as a luxury interior designer who travels and gives speeches and do customer consultations and works with her husband and has this, this story of where she began. And there's this organization, I think it's called like One Love or something like that, but they build homes or help home um, help women and families from shelters find homes. And so she's the interior designer for the homes. Can you imagine going from a shelter to getting a newly like styled home? And she just gives it as a part of her social mission. When I tell y'all, that's what grants look for. Because then the council person for our portion of the city of Atlanta spoke. They've received a um, $500,000 grant. I mean, the money is flowing. So I'm sure she's getting something for being there. And it's just amazing to see this world of grants and how expensive it is and how everything we talk about here on GPA is like, I'm seeing it in like 3D. <laughs> I'm so used to talking to y'all online, but the last two meetings that I've been at with the mayor, tonight we had a representative from the mayor and the councilwoman's office, and um, they talked about grants. They talked about funding. And I'm just like, this is amazing because there's money in our communities online and offline. We just got to know where it resides. And so my goal this year is to be in those rooms where the money conversations are being had and I'm learning how they're revamping these cities and revitalizing and preserving the history. They got a documentary coming out I just learned about tonight. Um, little inside baseball, <laughs> as I've heard it called, um, where they film. They film a lot of movies on my side of town. They actually blocked off our literal street. Like I could stand on my porch and watch them film a movie about a year ago. And um, one of my neighbors let them use her backyard. And I was like, I don't want all them people in my house or outside of my house. And I have a nice size backyard. But no, thank you. I'm going to come watch them at show house. Look. But anyway, so they're filming a documentary down the street that they're going to show later about how, you know, segregation, which is not too long ago, um, was here on this side of the city. That's considered the business district, the black Mecca. Like I interact with so many black business owners here in Atlanta and me being one and in that world, it's amazing to see. And now we get to see how far we've come and how far we got to go. Um, and those movies are funded by grants. So it just excites me, honey. This, you could just tell this is my world. And it's like, God is just opening up these opportunities to be in these spaces, seeing this happen and how the money flows, where it resides, how it comes from the top down and impacts us. And then we're online doing our thing here with Black Women and Grants. And I'm so excited about that. So that's why I'm here with y'all talking about your businesses. Shanika says she has a home health care agency. So Shanika, we're talking about if you had to base a superhero persona off of what you do, what would be your superhero name or super shero name? So if you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant funded opportunities. I've helped women win collectively the last seven women who have uh, checked in with me that are a part of black women in grants here where we got 61,300 or 400 of y'all on this page here on tiktok we got 160 plus of you guys in my mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com seven of our ladies have won a collective seventy-eight thousand two hundred dollars in grants and grant funded opportunities in the last 90 days so it just further confirms with me that I'm doing my job as the super shero, the grant guardian. That's my new name. So ChatGPT gave me that name based on what I do. So y'all can plug this in to your own ChatGPT. Let it talk to you a little bit. And uh, yeah, girl. Um, so anybody else want to call out their super shero name? Um, if you have questions about grants, I'm happy to answer those. I saw someone asked about startup grants. Um, have you ever done a quick search online for startup grants for your business? Super Shiro, let me know. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you have more questions, I'm happy to chat about that. So I'm going to plug this into 
had you pretend I've been um I'm itching for my, my villain story, so hold on y'all. What questions can I answer for you guys? Let me know. <gasps> Ashley! I already see it. I already love it. Oh, I love watching it type. This is so cool. So y'all want to hear my origin story? Put origin. Um, it, the chat GPT just made it up for me. Because you know how they said, like, uh, what did he use? My mentor that gave us this homework activity today used, who is it? Superman and Kryptonite? And so he's like, everyone has to have a weakness because your clients don't like perfect people so you got to show them that you have a weakness so y'all want to hear the origin story want to start a real estate investment want to learn about how to apply grant um blackwomeningrants.com is a great place to start i have um scholarships that are open right now to join my mentorship you can get in for only 97 bucks over at blackwomeningrants.com so if you want to learn about how to apply for a grant what to say on the application and next i know we're going to be talking about using these origin stories um check out blackwomeningrants.com claim one of those spots and come hang out with us uh, we would love to have you there and you can get there through our TikTok profile, you can also just go there straight away, blackwomeningrants.com. Let me know if you have more questions. Okay. So this says, in the bustling city of Opportunityville, love it, <laughs> where dreams flourished. I don't know who this is. Maybe they didn't know my name, but let's read. Dr. Felicia Forsaken <laughs> was once a brilliant scientist dedicated to unlocking the secrets of unlimited potential for all. Okay, I think I need to put my name there. However, fueled by an insatiable desire for power and wealth. Oh, that's not me. Okay, that's Dr. Felicia. Uh, fueled by an insatiable desire for power and wealth, she embarked on a perilous journey to harness the energy of grants for her own gain. <laughs> I love it. Dr. Forsaken's transformation into the nefarious grant gloom <laughs> began when she stumbled upon a forbidden formula hidden within the archives of an ancient foundation. This elixir promised unimaginable financial prowess and influence, <laughs> but its dark energies twisted her noble intentions. <laughs> Upon consumption, Dr. Forsaken found herself consumed by the ominous aura, <laughs> turning her once vibrant spirit into a force of ma what is this oh malevolence that's a big word grant gloom emerged with the ability to cast shadows over the dreams of aspiring entrepreneurs particularly targeted the endeavors of black women seeking financial empowerment grant gloom's sinister powers include the ability to create bureaucratic obstacles Drain motivation with doubt-inducing whispers and twist the perceptions of grant committees. Oh, wow. Armed with the cloak of financial fog, she <laughs> endeavors to shroud the path to success for those who dare to seek funding for their ventures. However, the beacon of hope rises in the form of the resilient Entrepreneurs of Opportunityville, led by the valiant Dr. A.J. Austin. <laughs> As the founder of Black Women in Grants, Dr. Austin stands against Grant Gloom, inspiring a legion of grant-seeking superheroes, that's y'all, to dispel the shadows and illuminate the way for a brighter, empowered future. What? <laughs> I love it! <laughs> it's making me tear up. Hold on, let me... Let me wipe my tears. Did y'all hear us in Opportunityville, in Black Women in Grantsville? I told y'all I was the mayor of Black Women in Grantsville when I went to the mayor's event the other day, right? Look at us. We got our own superhero, super shero story. Our own villain story. And we, what? What? <laughs> Thank you, girl, because I'm reading this like, wait a minute, some of this sounded real. So, can't y'all hear that realness? Because that when it so when it told me earlier what 
we were what we stood for when we were against we were against um you know what they're labeling as systemic racism and blah 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 but yeah this breaks it down because that is real there are bureaucratic obstacles you know who do you know or who i can't even get into the details of some of the stuff that i've seen but i also realized that some grant opportunities you can be too good for most of my adult life when it comes to the professional ventures people have just blatantly told me that i intimidate them and i'm like oh well that sounds like a you problem because i can't change who i am to make you feel comfortable so good luck with that but thank you for letting me know and so um if they happen to be the person over that grant or be on that grant committee or have influence in a say so for an opportunity and i've had that where all of a sudden these magical bureaucratic obstacles pop up because of someone behind the scenes that was intimidated this uh villain story also talked about draining motivation we go through that when we're applying for these grants we want to cry give up break down say it don't work say it's a scam say we can't do it. Um, one of our grantees reached out yesterday and she sent me this little message. If y'all were on here last night, we broke down her message and I preached to her a little bit. Then I brought it and preached to y'all a little bit about motivation. And she's like, it's not the work you have us do in the mentorship. That's very clear. It's very straightforward, very black and white. It's me. I need motivation. I need to be inspired. Is, do you, are any, is anyone else telling you they're having this lack of you know, should I keep doing this? So after we got off the phone, she was feeling better. But we go through that. Drained in motivation. I love that it said doubt-inducing whispers. Because <laughs> it is the voices in our head, you know, asking, is it worth it? Should we keep going? Can I really win? Do I really qualify? Does this work? Is this for me? Should I pay someone else? Well, hello, second person in cohort one of five-figure funding graduates. We started up last week and um, um, someone missed class. So we're going to talk about that this week. So that should be exciting. So hello, Lisa. How are you? Ashley's on here too. <laughs> so we're talking about if we had to um, come up with superhero names for our business and what we do, what would be our names? And then I started this earlier because one of my mentors in the coaching space gave us this as homework for his class this week. And so we had to come up with a superhero. We're super sheroes over here. And so they, uh, ChatGPT, y'all know that's my boo, named me the Grant Guardian. And so now we have our origin story. We were just reading through our villain story. <laughs> and we're just talking about some of the things that it, it pointed out that could be anti-black women in grants. And it's true. From the voices in our head to the obstacles that feel like they're in our way all of a sudden to, um, you know, people influencing the outcome of these grants, whether or not they like you or if they know you or think they know you or um, you might appear to be too successful. So that whole fake it till you make it, I'm going to do a live on that coming up soon. But, um, you know, it's, it's standard in the black community, especially in the church, fake it till you make it. But then it's like, well, what about when I've made it? Then what? Because I talked with a grant check writer. Um, he's over a $500 grant opportunity that's ongoing. It has an application fee. And he was telling me that they had someone who makes well over six figures applying for this. And I was like, what would they need $500 for? You know, and he didn't judge it either way. I didn't say anything, but it instantly made me think, would y'all give $500 to someone who say they make six figures? So technically, they made it over the $500 mark. What you need find jobs for? There's really somebody out there who needs and could really use $500 getting started or launching that next part of their business, and maybe they haven't hit six figures yet, you know? So that's just something to think about. Um, it's a part of all of that. The Brand Artisan. Okay. Brand Artisan, that's your super shiro name. I love it. So we just got our origin story, our villain story, our name. Thank you, girl. I permed it uh, yesterday and cut it and lined it up. And I got my my e-brows done, got a little manicure. Girl, we, we self-caring over here. So thank you. <laughs> so 
let me email myself my story so I can keep up with it because that was good. Wasn't it, y'all? If you caught it, we had a little drama, a little, little save the day. We had the, um, what they call it, the story archetypes. Start, begin, start, beginning, what is it? Beginning, middle, end. That was cute. Look at us, the Grant Guardian. <laughs> I love it. We're in Opportunityville over here. So y'all should play around with the activity in ChatGPT, see what it says. Because it's so creative. Um, like Ashley, like you said before, you know, we think we good writers until <laughs> we plug in these significantly better <laughs> prompts. And it's like, here's the new you. Here's how you really should sound on your grant application for that essay. So it was a lot of fun. I'm excited. So then for my mentor, we had to post in the Facebook group what our new name is and stuff like that. So people are in there. It's 26,000 people in that group, y'all. So they're in there watching my video about being the grant guardian. <laughs> this black woman who saves um, the day by protecting resources to help black women build their business. Grant guardian. I should get like a little cartoon um, drawn of the grant guardian flying through the air. It's so cute. Right. Sometimes the right... <laughs> And a hundred words, right? <laughs> Minimal character space, deadlines to meet. So it's cute because if it ever came to, this would be good for the application question. It's like, what makes you stand apart? And imagine like you plugging your 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 origin story, your super shero story back into ChatGPT. Y'all know how I am. It's my book. And be like, put this in 100 words or less. Put this in a short form story so I can tell them why they need to choose me. Because I'm the, what was it? The anti-Ashley. <laughs> Anti-Ash and the artisan. And come on now, brand artist. Come on. We had what? the um, We had a CPR seal. What was our other names? I'm trying to look back through the comments. Y'all know who you are. Where my she -Rose? Super she -Rose at? So it was a lot of fun. And I was like, I'm glad I did my homework today. And so um, my mentor has an app that we get to go plug these origin stories in. And he has a copy app to where we can actually use it to sell our products. Yep, Rescue Seal. There we go. So these are some tips that I really could see being helpful on future grant applications. I know we'll be talking about this on some upcoming calls in the mentorship. So if y'all want to be a part of that, check out blackwomeningrants.com and um, get one of the scholarship seats that's available. Someone reached out to me on LinkedIn. I woke up to someone had joined and I was like, either she real late from the live yesterday or who knows? Come to find out she's seen a post on LinkedIn. She wrote a long message. She was crying. She told me. You know, I'm over here, I'm tearing up and I'm typing and I'm, you know, and so she's a part of the grant game now. Um, and so I'm excited because I really can see this being more of a movement of black women finding funding, not just something to do, you know, but really adding it to like what you do, showing that it's worth your time. You should keep going, make this a part of your business funding journey. Um, it's really exciting. So that was a lot of fun. Let's see. He sent us an email. I gotta go back and watch the last part of the replay of the class today. Cause I was getting my nails done and ordering food and trying to listen to the class cause it was live. And so I missed the last part and I really wanted to hear it. So I'm glad he sent the replay for us to go back and watch. So what did y'all think of the activity? Any ahas, any takeaways, any like, hmm, I can see how this could tie into my grant or my grant essay applications. Um, right. <laughs> it could be fun. I instantly just see it through the eyes of future grant opportunities. And then hearing that money is floating around my city it's money in your city too you just got to find out where the meetings are being held to have those conversations there's money online um and then i love it because i'm looking to form some partnerships within my city for us to host events so that's really why i went to the meeting tonight because um 
we have beautiful like industrial building spaces all throughout Atlanta. And so I'm always looking for unique spaces to host events and form partnerships and see who's over what. So when y'all come to my city, be like, welcome to Atlanta where the players play. And we got this to a grant and it was sponsored. So welcome, come on in. So that's what I was doing. I was being nosy. Like, let me see. How much this costs to rent this? Who over this? Who number I need? Let me get that website, that email. So I was in there being nosy. As I should, because I'm new to this side. So I need to learn what is what. And then we have a meeting with the mayor coming up. So yeah, girl. You gotta um, get in those rooms where the money resides. And get to this work. Get to this bag. That's what it's about. Somebody told me that yesterday. You about your business. I am. I have to be. So I don't pay my bills. Why wouldn't I? As I should. Right? So. <laughs> what other ahas or takeaways did you guys get so far? Let me know. Or if you have any other questions about grants, grant funding opportunities, I'll be back here tomorrow. But y'all, losing track of days. I just wake up and check my phone. But yeah, I'll be back here in the morning. And we'll be talking about, I can't remember. It don't even matter. Just be here. Ain't that cute? Brand artisan. <laughs> we got some super sheroes in the house. So y'all better put that in y'all essays. Hey, my name is Lisa the Brand Artisan. I'm a super shero. Here's what I do. Here's my villain story. He <laughs> didn't know we had one, but here we go. I'm anti Ash Ashley. <laughs> Y'all better put that in them essays and uh, be like, um, this is how I'm going to make my application stand out. Y'all better say that on them videos. Hey, I'm anti Ash Ashley. I got a body butter cut. <laughs> if nothing else, the people reading or watching will be laughing. And, um, uh, I heard when people laugh, they're learning. When they laugh, they like you. And that's how they remember you. That's how you stand out. So y'all better take some of these secrets. I'm going to be using them. So don't be asking me how I done won a million dollars. I did it before on the personal side. I could do it again. I'm just learning these secrets. Like, how does this work again? What I need? Okay. I see you, Jesus. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be using on my application. So when y'all like... Is it saturated? It tastes a lot. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I never get it. That's because you ain't selling your villain super shero story, girl. <laughs> I think it'll help. What y'all think? I think so. But that's all I got. I just wanted to jump on. Like I said, I was still cute. Not enough people had seen me today. So I was like, I can always get on camera. <laughs> Hello, Elise. Welcome. Glad to have you. We are just kind of chatting about our super shero origin stories that we're going to start adding to our grant applications to send out. So if you wanted the secret to getting chose to be a pick Misha in these grant streets, hey, <laughs> this is how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> What questions y'all got for me before I go? And yes, follow this page. Let me check our follower count. I usually check. I'm finna go because I feel like it's time to release the girls. They've been pent up. We ain't used to all this standing at attention this long. So they need a release. And, um, yeah, y'all don't need to be a part of that. But. The superhero villain story is creative way to tell the problem and solution. See what ChatGPT, email me what ChatGPT tell you. Because I want to know. I'm nosy. Ashley, the anti-Ash. Super sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, This week in Five Figure Fun Finders, we're going to be talking about the new piece I added recently since we talked last week. With the video pitches, the 10 secrets that go into these videos. And then we're doing the event on the 30th. Same thing. I'm going to share it with y'all so y'all don't feel like y'all missed out on anything. Um, Because there's some secrets to winning these grants that require a video. And there's certain things that they're looking for, certain things you can sneak in there and make them pick you. 
Um, so yeah, make sure y'all get signed up. I sent out an email Sunday night. Yeah, so check your email. We got that event coming up on the 30th of this month. Then we got an event in April. We rocking and rolling over here in Opportunityville. <laughs> That's going to always make me giggle because I think it's so cool. Um. So, yeah. That's all I got, though, y'all. I'm just clicking through. I really haven't sat at my desk today. Everything is here versus looking at everything on my phone. So, I'm just clicking around making sure that when I get into bed, I don't be like, man, I forgot the blah, blah, blah. That part. Okay. Any final questions, ahas, takeaways, or topics of discussions that y'all want to have before I go? If not, I'll see y'all bright and early, 11 a.m. Eastern Center Time. Like my glasses are they new? No, but... I knew I wouldn't knock down everything on my desk I could show you. So I found them. They're readers. I have prescription readers that I pay for. Like $200 every time I go to get an eye exam. And I found out. Hold on. I'm trying to reach behind my bapruda. Not knocking that out. So I found out that only one of my eyes is almost prescription level but they make me pay for two pairs of a prescription that I really don't need so come to find out Amazon <laughs> sells my same prescription because I got a copy of this prescription and I'm like I'm barely on the chart that needs readers but because I work with the computer so much the eye doctor told me that's what it is my basically your eyes are strained but readers help my eyes focus like I can feel them coming together when I put them on so I can read and so I just went on Amazon and found several pairs this is part of my collection so I have a color that match whatever I'm wearing so that's my new thing now to try to match up but my black glasses are in my purse which is right beside me I forgot they're in there so that's what y'all have been seeing lately whatever color top I got on I try to find some matching frames and keep it in my little reader's jar and like five pair was only like 15 bucks versus $200 a pair or 200 for two pair every time I go I was like chill I could buy a thousand pairs for what I pay for two so that's what I do so thank you for noticing so the frames will be framing I just got two pairs of <laughs> all the colors because I'm going to scratch them I'm going to lose them I'm going to break some and I'm going to replace them <laughs> so that's how I look at it but that's what that is. They're not new. I usually wear them. These are the brown ones. I should have put my black ones on so I could be on brand. But that's my new thing. My new, my little statement piece. My little fashion statement piece, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what it is. So, I think... Let me double check. I want to make sure that... Okay, I think I got all of our... Oh, I didn't get the one from... Did I? Yes, I did. Making sure all of our um, glasses are from... Uh, Amazon. Amazon. I have a certain, like, look that I like. So, I found them on Amazon. Child, they don't know. Yeah, they look Lux. Thank you. I felt Lux today. Um, that's my little baby Ben's name. I got a little smart car. Um, I'm trying to decide. So, so it's it's made by Benz. It's a 2016. Um, the little two-seater smart cars. I don't know if you've seen those. The little, they more popular in Britain. But I bought one off of a um, one of my neighbors. He couldn't figure out what it needed. I took it to a specialist, and it's been there for almost six months. And I went and talked to the guy. I was trying to be nice but mean at the same time. Like, what what's the hold up, sir? So I think I'm gonna have to get it towed to somebody who will work on it. He swear I'm 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 getting to it. I'm getting. It's been six months. But anyway, her name is Lux, cause she's my little luxury vehicle, little baby Benz, and uh, I can't wait to drive her. I mean, it's just not fun knowing that I done bought a car that I can't drive, and it's been six months. Um, so I just drive my other one, which is fine. But there's also someone who wants to buy the one I currently drive. So I was like, well, I can't sell it to you, so I get my other one. 
I might just keep both of them because you never know. But that's her name, little baby Lux. And uh, y'all will see pictures and videos. I can't wait to do some videos from the car, honey. That's going to be fun. And it's so funny because the guy who I bought it from, that's what he used to do. He's the neighborhood historian. So he would literally ride around our little portion of Atlanta filming history spots in the car. And I thought that was so cool. So she's already a superstar in her own right. So it's been packed, passed on to another content creator, blogger, whatever. So she's used to being in the limelight. So I can't wait for y'all to meet her. <laughs> I might not show her, show her because she's very recognizable just like the one i drive now people recognize my car and sometimes i don't like being recognized my coach recognized me the other day i was shopping he was like did i just see you? no mm -mm. you sure that was me i was trying to rush he said he took his phone from his daughter and like give me this phone and called me to be like did you just pay mm -mm. so my car is recognizable so i might not show her be like i want to be private and exclusive <laughs> Anyway, I was double checking. I know I've been on here. Well, I did three lives yesterday. I was trying to make sure I downloaded each one. I think I did. And then um, today, so I made sure I get that one downloaded and put into our playlist that's a part of the mentorship. I've been trying to make sure I keep you all up to date with the different lives we've done. In case you missed them, they're all in the playlist I don't know how many of y'all go back and watch the replays, but I know over on um, YouTube, they're watching and joining the Grant Gang. So I share these TikTok replays with our YouTube people as well, which they might as well just come join us live here on TikTok. It's free for now. TikTok trying to make me charge y'all. It's like, mm, they got a feature where I can turn it on and I won't see your comments unless you pay me. And I was like, that would be such a boring live. Why? So, I won't do that. <laughs> um, but if you're in the grant game, you can see all the replays because it's a part of the mentorship. So, that's all I got. Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate you. I will be back in the morning. You guys get some rest. I know some of y'all got to get up. Go to work in the morning. Sneak on your lunch break. Come hang out with us at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'll be here. Um, and then my mentors, I think his final class is tomorrow at 12. But he's on Pacific time. It's 12 our time now. So we'll see if I get to make it to his class or just watch the replay based on how long I hang out with y'all tomorrow. So until we meet again, my friends, remember... Um, there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine. You got this permission. You give others permission to do the same. I missed a lot of comments. Thank you for the compliments on my eyebrows. I tried. Me and Miss Lee. That's my eyebrow laid down the street. Um, hey, Ashley, mama. <laughs> and you said live schedule. Live schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when I'm usually here. I've been doing some pop-ups in between just because I've been wanting to. Um, tonight I was cute, and so, you know, I was like, I'm going to let them see me. Y'all see me? Okay, I'm about to go wash this off. Um, free the girls, put on some pajamas, if that, and get in the bed. And scroll to talk. That's what I'm about to do. Oh, uh, Elise said she's an up-and-coming entrepreneur. Well, make sure you join us to learn more about getting grants as an up-and-coming entrepreneur. Those are startup grants. I'm more serious during the daytime. So, well, maybe, depending on what day you catch me. But, uh. Y'all are welcome back anytime. Come visit us. Come hang out with us. Come join us in the Grant Game Mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com where we really do talk about grants and grant-funded opportunities. Okay. So I think for the most part, I see, I'm just scrolling back through the um, comments before I go because I ain't want to feel left out by the Grant Guardian, Gigi. long time the galactic did we see this the galactic grant game giant that is a tongue twister Ashton Franklin I'm all the way at the top of the uh, live with these coming <laughs> and hello miss Coco crazy I didn't see that oh we loved grantee too that was one of the cute ones uh oh oh okay I'm gonna go 
I just misplaced my tea. That's dangerous because I knock over drinks all the time. That's too close to my baprudos. I got to go. Thank y'all for being here. Let me see. <coughs> see y'all in the morning. Have a phenomenal night. God bless. <coughs> Bye, future grant winners.